another episode of Kerbal Bites. Today we're talking TLS. There's many different contexts for TLS. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up TLS for the GUI and the worker to leader configuration. And we'll touch briefly on how to set up uh, source TLS configuration as well as destination TLS configuration. So let's hop right into it. I've got a, an instance running in EC2. I'm actually using an SSH tunnel to get to it. So you'll see localhost up here. Uh, the TLS leader is down here. Um, let's tackle the GUI first. So if I go into global settings under API server to TLS, enable it. And then we don't have any search yet created. So I'm gonna click on the create button and drag in my cert and my key and enter my password you may also have a ca certificate provided from your ca uh, i'm going to give it a name and when i hit save and then save again it's going to restart cribble so you're going to see some disconnected messages down here while it's restarting uh, we can talk about the next step we're going to take so once this is back up we're going to venture into the distributed settings where we can tell the leader to only accept connections over TLS from workers. So this is that control channel. We're not talking about data delivery at this point. It's still just a control channel. So if we go under distributed settings to TLS, enable TLS, we could create another certificate. Um, in this case, for brevity, I'm just going to select the same one we created last time. Best practice is probably to use a different TLS uh, cert for each purpose. I uh, want to hit save on this. So this is going to do something interesting because we already had a worker connected. The TLS worker two here was connected, but you'll see TLS was disabled. Disabled is set to true over here. So that worker is going to drop off and no longer be connected to the system. If we hop over into manage and go to manage, you'll see these error messages. There's no worker registered. So probably the easiest way to fix that, you'll notice I had just uh, listed out this file or instance.yaml. So I'm going to just edit that file. And change disabled to false. So if I restart Cribble now, in a few moments, you'll see it show up here. I could have also done this via update existing, change this to CLI and you'd see down here, the same sort of thing, uh, minus S true would enable TLS. I could have run that update command on the worker and restarted it. Also, while we're here, I'm going to bootstrap new. So uh, come in here and because again, that SSH forwarding thing, I put the actual address in here. So now I've got this curl command on this fresh node that you can see we don't have there's no cribble running here. Um, if I paste this in, we're going to run it as root. One thing to note, because it is a self-signed cert, you've got to add the minus K flag to the curl command. So if I run that, that's going to install uh, prep and start up cribble for the first time. So hopefully now we've had enough time on this restart down here for the original. If we refresh there. So we've got both up already. So the, the new one's up, the one that we modified is up. Uh, it's still syncing its configuration, hence the spinning dots here. So now our workers are communicating with the leader for TLS. It really was that simple. It's not too difficult. The most difficult part is probably getting your search from your CA or creating them yourself. Um, so we've taken care of the GUI, we've taken care of worker to leader communication. The next step, if you were so inclined, would be to talk about your sources. So any TCP based source, for example, Splunk TCP, if we come into here and look under TLS, we can enable. Now we are in a worker context now. So you notice when I bring down the certificate name, there are no certificates here because we're within the worker context now, the worker group context, not the leader context. So we could create a, we could create a cert the same way we did last time, apply it the same way. Um, on the sending side, you'd have to enable TLS. And if you're using self-signed certs, you might have to disable that, uh, the verification, but it should be just as straightforward. And same thing with the destination side. So if we come under 
destinations and bring up a Splunk. We do a new destination just for grins, TLS, use TLS. So if you're just sending to a TLNS enabled host and you don't need to do anything special, leave validate certs unchecked, you can just hit save here, we're done. There's, there's no required fields. If you wanna do something more fancy uh, like mutual TLS or you wanted to validate those certs, then you'll need to change some settings in here. So that's the quick version of the TLS tutorial for Kribble. I hope it helps you out. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.